by Kerbstone with the great mix of cars. Garnies see more here than ever you would. And the cars being driven properly, as in quickly, and making a great noise as well as uh, down towards turn one they come. Got the Praga also within the list of cars here, the uh, Praga Bohema. And there the Pagani prior R with just over a thousand kilos in terms of weight, 1,050, uh, 850 horsepower, and a serious piece of kit as it sings its way onto the pit straight. Marso, which is the P72 designed by Joan Wang, this uh, rear to mid engined uh, and rear wheel drive car, five litre supercharged Ford Coyote V8 engine, six speed manual box, and uh, the interior with its diamond stitch leather, good and instrumentation, and uh, a car that, as I've been saying, takes this sort of throwback to previous years. 72 units of the P72 are uh, produced and they're coming down towards turn one is a car that uh, first went on display at Goodwood and has uh, remained loyal to the design ever since. Pagani Pariah R is the car that you're looking at next, heading towards the line. The most extreme Pagani hypercar, and it's purely for track use. So it's not a road car, it's got the V12R 850 horsepower uh, engine, a red line of 9,000 RPM. And uh, I won't tell you the price because you're probably just a euro short and it will only make you feel frustrated. But it's. it's explores the limits of the road. Not the cheapest car in the range, that is for sure, but uh, as I say, a racing car pretty much for the road, for the track uh, in all but name. It's uh, got this fantastic sound that it makes, of course, and a lot of work has gone into the exhaust system to make it sound good with extensive research of materials and the geometries and the sound design. Got this new exhaust system for this car specifically, and uh, it's and I quote, guarantees rapid and effective evacuation of exhaust gases uh, to allow all that power to come. Well, it certainly makes a great sound in addition to all of that, doesn't it? So, uh, Pagani, if you like, created the ultimate car and then kept going, making more and more spectacular machines year after year. De Tommaso is still howling around as well. And another of the Mariah R's. It was good in the green, doesn't it? See how much rubber has been put down on the racetrack over the course of the day. And uh, the really brave going offline, but in danger of a little bit of pickup there. So let's just listen in as the uh, Ghanis accelerate around nearly a five kilometer long lap here in Barcelona. I think one or two of the owners heading for the pit road, just for a break. Others pressing on, continuing their laps on track. The GT1 Sports Club having this very impressive uh, paddock area where all the cars live in different shelters, and uh, it's been one of the most popular parts of the paddock all weekend with people drooling over them. sound that's been echoing all around the Barcelona circuit. 
there's absolutely no doubt when these cars are on track. They had one session earlier on in the day that brought everybody up towards the fences. Uh, very few people have strayed far, I think, from the fence for this second session for the sports club cars as well. So they're looking very spectacular in the uh, green colours of the bright shiny wheels, bright silver wheels, giving it a real uh, sense of poise. Available in blue as well, if you prefer your Garni. So uh, almost echoes early days of uh, FIA GT machinery, that, but uh, getting themselves together on track now. I think I said you never see quite so many Paganis in one place. Well, it's true, every time you look up, there's another one. Uh, so the uh, Garni are. Pariah running together. The company that's been going for 30 years now, Pagani. Uh, the cars were built from Italia, such as Carbo Titanium, uh, Carbo Triaps, and the monocoque, uh, which is designed obviously for an incident, is uh, built out of the very latest, very safest, but lightest of compounds and yet still tipping the scales at just 1,050 kilos. The car had a target set of between 46 and 54% of downforce through the entire speed envelope, apparently, and that was achieved by the design team. Rambo brakes, Pirelli tyres, as you would anticipate, from the Italian company and uh, traction control, ABS map selection, there is radio communication, uh, and uh, quick release steering wheel, height, length adjustable steering wheel as well, that can be pulled out for easy access to the cockpit, you've got the lights, the engine maps, suspension maps, brake balance, selector, all within easy reach. So, uh, although it is a complex bit of kit in many ways, it's been made to be as, as user-friendly as uh, is possible. 19-inch wheels. Rambo brakes, six piston calipers. And so cars through once more, heading into turn one. Drivers also at the moment having to cope with the setting sun, but uh, maximizing their available track time nonetheless. So I think one or two backing off, possibly heading for the pit lane. Others staying out. But uh, with the exception of the Dittomasso, I think we've, there has been a Picasso that we've seen, and that's been in the paddock, but not actually gone out onto the circuit. But it's been a very much a Pagani-dominated entry for GT1 Sports Club. Curbstone that runs these ultimate track days, having put together this element of the weekend and uh, bringing some incredible machinery to the circuit. While all this has been going on, incidentally, more and more champions from Fanatec GT World Challenge, powered by AWS Endurance Cup, have been going on to the podium and celebrating. And uh, all of them being uh, slightly distracted by watching cars purple past the pits as well. Big flash of the lights as more of the Paganis come by. But Curbstone running these sessions at a number of uh, Endurance Cup events, giving owners an opportunity to drive the cars at Grand Prix venues. That's always been a feature of the Endurance Cup within SRO, that you go to circuits where Formula One events take place, so the drivers have, if you like, the, uh, the plum circuits. 
and uh, that worked well for the car's owners as well. So back on the power, up the hill, heads the uh, number five, Pariah. It does look absolutely stunning, doesn't it? It doesn't matter what colour scheme it runs in, it just exudes purposefulness. Planted to the ground, it looks great, it sounds great. And although you won't see the cars racing, this is your next best option. Where there are so many of them uh, running together, it does create quite an atmosphere around the circuit. So through goes um, the last couple of laps, I think, that the owners can get out of the cars within this session. Everything almost sinister in the uh, carbon fibre colours. Again, a look in the back of the car, the exhaust dead centre, kicking out the... Uh, Glorious sound from the V12 engine. Even at the top of the grandstand, even behind many a, a pane of glass, it is still very noisy indeed. So, uh, trackside, it's uh, reminiscent of early Formula One days with uh, V12 engines howling past. But uh, only another minute or so for the Kerbstone GT1 Sports Club to entertain and as I said everybody has been pretty much wowed by sight and sound over the two sessions that they've had and even uh, when the cars are at rest in the paddock they have looked mighty as well and attracted an enormous crowd throughout the weekend when a, a GT3 car is almost ignored you know these have got to be good being ticked off. Does green look better than blue carbon? Discuss. Uh, take your pick. So they all look pretty good in fairness. Black looks sinister, carbon fibre looks sinister. But uh, they all look good, that's for sure. And uh, when you add other brands onto the circuit as well, you get an idea of how this supercar market is growing. Check the flag being shown. So, uh, as it's being run, not by race officials, but by circuit staff out of race control. Uh, it's not a physical checker flag, it's on the lighting gantry. So that concludes the GT1 Sports Club activity. And the cars then will make their way to the pit lane at the end of our second GT1 Sports Club session here at the Circuit de Catalunya.